Hey guys, I would normally walk, but I didn't do my walk this morning because I get that in walking to where I'm going now, which is to the African American Museum where I volunteer. And I'm taking you guys with me today. Let you check it out. So, I'll hit you back up when we get there, okay? I'll see you at the museum, guys. I'm almost at the museum, guys. On my way. I'm taking you past the Holocaust Museum. approaching the museum and I'm going to show it to you from a distance. Beautiful architecture. off of Constitution Avenue. Good morning, guys. How are you? Okay, guys. I will start my volunteer shift right now, and I will stop. And after I'm done, I will take you up to L4 Culture Galleries, and then we'll go down briefly to the History Gallery. So stay tuned, guys. You don't want to miss it. Well, welcome to the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture. You are in Washington, D.C. This is a landmark institution dedicated to showcasing the rich and complex history and culture of African Americans in the United States. It should be visited for several compelling reasons. Historical significance, comprehensive exhibits, powerful artifacts, educational value, cultural celebration, architectural marvel, and continuing relevance. Visiting the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture is not only an opportunity to learn about the African American experience, but also a chance to reflect on the broader themes of history, identity, and social justice in the United States. It's a museum that encourages dialogue, empathy, and a deeper understanding of our shared history as a nation. Welcome and enjoy the experience. The museum has three tiered structures with its outer layer adorned by intricate bronze filigree panels. The design pays homage to the rich tradition of African craftsmanship, resembling the artistry of ironwork created by enslaved African-Americans in the American South. This intricate latticework also serves a functional purpose as it regulates the amount of sunlight entering the museum. The building's three tiers represent different historical periods with the lower level symbolizing slavery and the upper level symbolizing the present and future, all leading to the crown, a circular element housing the museum's corona, which symbolizes unity, hope, and faith, both aesthetically and symbolically, is a tribute to African-American history and culture and serves as a beacon of enlightenment and reflection in the heart of the National Mall.
We can see that the Russians were first in something. They had the first capsule to orbit the Earth. Remember, it was called Sputnik. Right. Then they hit the moon with one. They called it Lunik. We're going to send up one with two men and two women. We're going to call it Picnic. <laughs> Visiting the Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture is not only an opportunity to learn about the African American experience, but also a chance to reflect on the broader themes of history, identity, and social justice in the United States. It's a museum that encourages dialogue, empathy, and a deeper understanding of our shared history as a nation. duties involved which um, include introducing and welcoming visitors to the museum of course responding to inquiries providing information about the Smithsonian Institution and the um, African American Museum etc and also let me add that everyone who applies as a volunteer is not accepted so from my perspective it is an honor to work as a volunteer at the museum This is the line. 
time for the history gallery, which everyone wants to start at because it takes people from the slavery era up through the Obama era. And it's generally a line, although it does move rather quickly. And then that line there is for the Sweet Home Cafe. Attention visitors. Cousin Eliza was pretty. When the girls at the big house had folks coming to see them, they'd ask, Who is that pretty girl? So they decided to get rid of her right away. The day they sold her will always be. I don't do nothing all my day but miss, miss, miss. I miss so many children they done with me, stunning my growth and that's why ain't nothing but bone to this day. When the colored woman has to cut mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost 180,000 black soldiers served in the most brutal battles of the war. <laughs> risked their lives, even though they faced harsh discrimination. Susie King Taylor,
Johnny G. Bunch III is in the house. He is the 14th Secretary of the Smithsonian. He assumed this position in um, 2019. As Secretary, he oversees 21 museums, 21 libraries, the National Zoo, numerous research centers, and several education units and centers. <laughs> oh, I'll leave. There's some guy from, from New Jersey trying to make it in a big city. That's all. <laughs> I think you made it. I think you have. When he started in Ju July of 2005, he had one staff member, no collections, no funding, and no site for a museum. And this is what we have today based on his determination, optimism, and commitment to build a place that would make America better. He transformed a vision into a bold reality. weeks or even days the initial whoopee I'm free that high can dwindle down to a, a now what depression of sorts but smart retirees figure out quickly that there's a great life enhancing choice answering that now what question and they will check out volunteer opportunities that suit their interests and abilities. So I highly encourage you to do that. There's been a study that indicates that volunteering can add years to your life. So find something that piques your interests and your abilities and get into volunteering, guys. volunteer we get as much benefit as we give oh, a recent study from Carnegie Mellon University indicates that adults over age 50 who volunteer on a regular basis were less likely to develop high blood pressure which is an indicator for heart
heart disease, stroke, and premature death. Start volunteering, guys, and let's live beyond. If you should happen to be in the museum and I am there, please do stop by the welcome desk and say, hey. And guys, whether you are a boomer, a Gen X, a millennial, or a Zen G, you should consider volunteering. Trust me, you'll be happy that you did. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.